Hi, I'm Quentin Carpenter. And I'm Cody. And we're the third generation of carpenters to come through sewing and vacuum warehouse. Where do we go from here? <laughs> We've been in one place our entire lives. Um, in high school, I played softball, and then all throughout college, I played softball. I majored in marketing and accounting. And Quentin. You can throw me into the bus. <laughs> high school was, uh, I was the menace of the family. I, in fact, I was the kid that got in his sister's like old teacher's <clears throat> classes. And they were like, oh my gosh, like you're Cody's brother. Yeah, that, that lasted for about a week. <laughs> um, but I also played baseball. I went to college for baseball. We always say uh, Cody has two degrees, for uh, one for her, one for me, because I, I went to college for baseball. I, that was my mindset. I was a, a COVID college product, uh, and scholarships were ultimately cut, and it started working here. And then I guess I drugged this one in somehow. I went straight into public accounting. He was like, so when are you going to come join? So I made my way over, and now here we are. Uh, the guy behind us, or behind the camera, is decided to make us ask each other these questions, so. so you've got questions that you're gonna read to the other. If they respond <laughs> appropriately, you get to put a sticker on them. You've got questions, they are numbered. Numbered. These are so cute. You can go around. I'm nervous about this. Let's do rock, paper, scissors this and see so who goes fancy. first. Here we go. One shoot. Okay. That's not fair. He's really good at rock, paper, scissors. Professional. Okay. Just best of one. You're not, no, come on. Okay. I knew it! <laughs> I knew it! Does he always do rock? Yes, because he thinks girls always do scissors. <laughs> Quentin, what are you most passionate about? Oh, jeez. I thought we weren't getting deep here. <laughs> mm, I would say this business would be what I'm most passionate about. Irritating you while I'm in the store. Yeah, I do what I'm most passionate about. I believe about. that fully. I totally believe that. I didn't open this as fancy as you did. Oh. <laughs> Don't mind me. No. I, mean, I told you he, he would find a way to ruin it. What made you join Sewing and Vacuum Warehouse? Well, you. He pretty awesome. was pretty persistent in asking me. I think the the odd thing about it is, is when we were kids, you were always the one that was, you know, I'm going in the family business, and I was always the one that was absolutely not. Well, I'm also daddy's little girl, so. <laughs> I think the bigger part of that, the reason for that is uh, I got grounded more often, and this is what we got grounded to. Yes. So you this, get in this, trouble, you go to work. Yes. Child labor. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Child labor. <laughs> <laughs> Please no. You can put it on like the back of my my back. Don't put it in my hair. Okay. Ow. It's on there, nice and good. Number two. What made you want to be in this business and what part about it brings you the most joy? It's a little different. Like most people and everything you see is like find that passion and pursue it. I guess one day I sold that first machine after, you know, I think the floor was overran and I had to come out from the back and help a customer when we sold that first machine and the smile on, on her face when she when she bought that machine, I was like, wow, like that was pretty awesome. Uh, you know, we have like two very different sides of the business. You have your crafters uh, and then you have your business people that go after the multi-needles. Um, so I love both sides of it, though. the passion of the crafters um, when they come in with the, the finished quilt, all that stuff I, I think is pretty awesome. And then to get your business side of people, because you obviously running this, we have to have our business side. Yeah. Uh, and seeing seeing those people pursue their dreams and, and kind of give them a, another piece to pursue their dreams, I would say that's what I love most about it. Sticker. I feel like you just started here because you had to and then ended up liking it more than you thought. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, it was uh, definitely not something that I thought was going to be my passion or what I was going to fall in love with. Yeah, but then he got the itch to stitch. <laughs> I can't stand you. <laughs> oh, yeah, I like this one. No. <laughs> That's bad. No. Do you feel like working with family is as hard as like the stereotype is? Oh, that's a good question. Yeah. You do? Uh, the stereotype of working with, I mean, we don't like 
bicker. I don't know, actually, you and Dad sometimes. <laughs> we don't always see eye to eye. Um, we have the same goal, just yeah. different, different ways of getting there sometimes. Well, and there's just like two like very different personalities. Like he is just out there, he'll go get him, wants to spend money. And I'm like, do we really need that much? Like, let's save a little bit of money. So uh, we definitely balance each other. I feel like my mom and my dad are the same way too. So he he's mom's favorite and I'm dad's. <laughs> we all have. Him and my dad are like, yeah, let's go get something. And my mom and I are like, let's let's slow it down. Take it back a step. We can all butt heads, but it's been a lot better than I thought it would be. Everyone's fear is, well, if I get onto my family member too hard, then you create this big divide. And, yeah. Um, well, I also feel like sometimes, like a family member won't pull the weight that other family members do, so it creates animosity. Yeah. We all kind of bust our butts pretty hard. So. Yeah, I don't think we have that problem. Stick me! We're just gonna load up like a shoulder sleeve over here. <laughs> you have your tattoo yet? Mm. You hiding it from mom? <laughs> <laughs> just like that, grounded to the store again. <laughs> Let's do it. Since you believe you're a better dancer than me. Oh God. Can you please <laughs> show everyone your best dance move? So the problem with this is our microphones are no, dead. No, 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 no. Uh, we don't need your voice to see your dance moves. You did do not do this to me. <laughs> <laughs> you did not publicly do this to me. What dance am I supposed to do? I don't know. I could whip out a few right now, but I'm a good dancer. You don't think so. A little sprinkler action. <laughs> the shopping cart. Yeah, groceries. 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 Yeah. What about the yeah. roll of pizza? What was the roll of pizza? You gotta like roll the pizza and then you, you gotta, gotta put it in the oven. No, you gotta sprinkle cheese. Pepperonis. Pepperonis. But I am a better dancer though. Can you give me a tune? Give me a beat. You need a tune? Alright. Oh god, no. Your, your voice is worse <laughs> than your, your dancing. I'm um, gonna so much crap for this. Oh, you know what I like? I like that one, hold this, where you like go like this and like sprinkle <laughs> We got sound effects! <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Here, you can just take a little button. Now you get a pink button and you can't take that off all day. No, I can't believe you did that. <laughs> That's so wrong. I have friends that watch this. Oh yes, what is it like working with your favorite person on the planet? I don't work with my favorite person. <laughs> you terrorize me all day long and you want to be my favorite person on the planet. <laughs> no, you know that's not, you did not think, that's I'm, not realistic. I'm nice to her. You throw stuff at me all day because in the face. Listen, I don't start it. Yes, you, I live on earth. Where are you living right you now? You like look at me and expect me not to throw something. <laughs> I mean, how does that work? Oh my god. So how is it working with, it? I don't know where he ranks, mm -hmm. but- Yeah, where do the, I rank? The person on the, the next to you, how, how do you, what do you think working with them? I mean, it's all right. Sometimes we have fun, a lot of times, but sometimes they're really irritating. Okay, I'll be nice. Let's ask the question again. What's it like to work with your favorite person on the planet? It's amazing. <laughs> I love working with you. I figured. I, I like to work with me. And growing the business really comes more the, the more customers you can make happy, the more you grow the business. And we do demand excellence out of, out of the staff is when someone walks through the door, it's not about buying a sewing machine, it's about having an experience. An experience that you enjoy enough to want to come back rather than shop at your online Amazon, stuff like that. Especially like a lot of online shoppers don't realize how much fun and how much you're missing by shopping online, getting into the stores, meeting us, letting us see your projects. That's something that we enjoy as much as y'all do, so. I'm Quinn from Sewing Backing Warehouse. She ruined my day. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Right. Goodbye. Oh, and I'm Cody. <laughs> <laughs>